here's a mighty interesting project. This poor old Dell Dimension 4100 went halfway under in a flood of somebody's basement. They gave it to me to get the data off the hard drive, and the hard drive was in amazingly good spirits. But the rest of the internals of the computer, it was powered when it went under. So the rest, about half of the rest of the internals of the computer ended up looking something like that. The video card doesn't look too bad. The network card doesn't look too bad. But about half the motherboard from the AGP slot on down was covered in icky, slimy flood material, and there was a very nastily corroded battery. So how'd I clean this up? Well, apart from throwing cards on the ground when I hit them with the edge of the motherboard, I did the highly scientific and high-end motherboard cleaning procedure that a Kenmore dishwasher can provide. Now before you scoff and say, are you nuts? Well, I am. But this procedure works as often as not. I know because I saved a number of computers from my own basement flood. So we're going to see if we could possibly get that lucky with this one. Because even though it's only a Pentium 3 at 866, it's more than fast enough. And for a free computer, I wouldn't turn it down. So it's worth a shot at least. Alright, way over there by the key keeper's big brown piece of junk is the computer. And because I'm something of a chicken, and don't want to be near the explosion when it happens, I'm all the way over here at the outlet on the side of the Roach Palace. I'll plug it in, see what happens. Well, it's on. I got power coming out of the power supply. I don't have the power button lit up, though. Let's see if we got any diagnostic lights on the back. Nope, doesn't seem that we do. Well, it may be toast after all, but at least I tried.